Yo! What's up everyone, Vitor here. We are thrilled to know the community has found our latest video so relatable and helpful. Many of you experienced ninjas remember these type of questions when you first started interviewing. Isn't it funny how much of the things being asked today have stayed relatively the same throughout the years? It's true, there are always a few twists here and there, but the core of the material remains the same. If you are new to the channel and haven't watched the video, it will pop up in the top right corner now. Go check it out. You are almost guaranteed to face a similar question during interviews. Also, some of you have kindly asked if we have any platform to accept tips or donations. We had considered starting a Patreon a while back to help support the team. However, we decided to hold back on that and instead focus heavily on providing you top quality material. It is true that making these videos is time consuming, but we do get a lot of satisfaction when we hear back from the ninjas in the community telling us how much this content has helped them. We hope it's been helpful and entertaining to you as well. Anyway, for now, we have decided to create a crypto wallet for any beers you may want to buy the team. The QR code should be popping up on the screen now and the address will also be available in the description of the video below. We thank you for your generosity, even if we're tipped with meme currencies. We are looking at you, Dogecoin. All right, so let's get into the content for today. Originally, we were going to make a video related to digital design. However, we just got this gem in our inbox. This ninja was on the final rounds of interviews with Apple. And given our previous video on capacitors, it seemed appropriate to divert to this topic instead. We know the interviewer will show us the circuit and say the following. Assume all capacitors start initially discharged, all the components are ideal, and the forward voltage drop across the diode is 0.6 volts. The input voltage is a square wave from 0 to 2.4 volts. Can you tell me what happens at the output? This is a loaded question that can cause many people to trip, but not you ninjas. Let me give you 10 seconds for you to pause the video and answer the question by yourself. Let's decompose the questions into sections. It's really not that much different than the question we answered in our previous video. Of course, this has the slight twist we were talking about at the beginning. Let's draw the square wave here. And let's draw two additional axes. One for the intermediate node, let's call that Vx, and another for the output voltage Vout. Initially, when the input voltage is zero, everything else should be zero as well. Then the input voltage goes to 2.4 volts. Since everything is ideal, Vx should immediately become the forward voltage diode drop of 0.6 volts. The diode D2 is reverse biased, so Vout remains at zero. We think most people, like our ninjas, are able to get to this part. It's the next part that gets confusing for some. When the input voltage goes back to zero, what happens? Well, the delta V across C1 should be maintained. We know the delta V across C1 is 2.4 volts minus 0.6 volts from the diode. That is 1.8 volts. That means when the input voltage goes back to zero, Vx should immediately become 1.8 volts to maintain the original delta V, right? What happens at V out though? At this moment, D2 is no longer reverse biased. There is current flowing through D2 charging C1. V out will start at zero and drop to negative voltages, while Vx starts at negative voltages and will start climbing up due to the current flowing through D2. 
This will stop until the voltage across D2 is 0.6 volts. A caveat here is that since every component is assumed to be ideal, everything we just described happens instantaneously. So at the end of the cycle, V out will become negative 0.6 volts and Vx will be negative 1.2 volts. And then the cycle of course repeats itself, although with different quote quote initial conditions. The input voltage is again 2.4 volts. That means Vx climbs up to 0.6 volts and V out stays at negative 0.6 volts. This time, when the input voltage drops to zero, Vx will maintain its original delta V of 1.8 volts. We already explained a few moments ago that everything happens instantaneously, since everything is assumed to be ideal. Therefore, we know that on this cycle, Vx will settle to negative 1.5 volts and V out will settle at negative 0.9 volts. And you can see a pattern here. We will stop here since we don't want to spoil the fun for our ninjas. Instead, we are going to act as the interviewers this time and ask you the following. Can you draw the next 8 to 10 cycles and tell us what happens? Let us know in the comments below. And there you have it. Another amazing interview question coming from Apple. What a great company to work for. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoy the content today. Also, make sure to enable that little bell icon to be notified of the raffles for mock interviews. Finally, if you would like to buy us a beer to thank us for the content, our crypto wallet, again, can be found in the description of the video below. Cheers!